Yo, what's up Freeze Army and welcome to a bullet of peace and a joint to share featured contract. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and for this one we're just going to go for a like target of 10. That's all it is, just 10 likes. So if you can, please hit the like button. Without further ado, we're going to get straight into this. So I don't normally do featured contracts. Um, they haven't really got uh, very much feedback. I haven't got really much feedback from the old contra feature contracts I, very, I did really. They didn't get many, very, many views. But if you would like me to feature more featured contracts on this channel, then please let me know down in the comments below. So we're going to start off in the watchtower area. So we're going to pick up that uh, lead pipe right there. We're going to head down these stairs through this door. You're also going to need your lockpick for this one and have your sniper rifle stored in the safe house. So with the lead pipe, we're going to throw it at this bohemian's head. And we're going to pick that lead pipe back up because we're going to need that. You're going to take the bohemian's disguise and we're going to head back down the stairs. So you're going to pull out your pistol. Because we are going to have to shoot out a camera. Because for some strange reason there's a camera in this place. So just want to take that out right there. I'm going to put that away because we don't need that anymore. So we're going to head all the way down to the bottom of the stairs and cross the main square. So all I bought with me in this one really is my lockpick. Uh, my pistol because I wanted to shoot out the cameras. And I have my sniper rifle stored in my safe house. Now, apart from that, all I did was to start from the, the main tower. So we're going to head over to this uh, place over here. This is for the Silent Assassin rating. That's what I wanted to achieve. So in order to do that, we're going to need to take out a few guys. So we're going to need to subdue this delivery man over here. And we're going to pull out our coin. And we're going to just toss it over just, just about that direction over there. Then the, the cyclist is going to get up and go for and investigate. And during that period, we're going to take out this delivery man. So you want to subdue him first. Don't hit him with the pipe. Because if you do, the, the cyclist will hear you. So with the lead pipe, we're going to throw it at him. Because if we went over there and tried to subdue him, he would have turned around. So make sure you pick up the lead pipe again. And you want to drag the cyclist just over to this peak here. Just on the side of this cliff. Just beside this big uh, tall tree right here. We're going to leave him there. Uh, you'll know why at the end of the video. So we're just going to leave his body there. We want to make sure it's clear. Right on the edge. Just don't throw him off. And uh, we're going to need to hide these two bodies. Because people do cross that road over there. And they do tend to look down. And they do spot. I've, I've been. The bodies have been caught sometimes. So just to make sure. I've hidden the body just behind his van here. And we're going to do the same with the other one. So you want to run around here. And drag the body just around the van here and just you know sort of dump the body there so from this point they won't get spotted so you complete the farm with that so we can uh, now go up to the next part we can set up the next part so we're going to need to head up here and jump through the window and head up the flight of stairs and there's uh, two people upstairs there's one of them is a target we're going to need to take out with a sniper rifle and the other one is just a patrolling guard now what we're going to need that patrolling guard to do is come down to the staircase base just there and we're going to need to take him out because if we take him out with a sniper rifle the target his body will get discovered by this security guard so just to make sure we get the sign of assassin written we're going to take out this other security guard as a precaution now sometimes there is a body's found glitch but I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to take advantage of no glitch. If it is a glitch I'm not completely sure. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not completely 100% in with that so just to be sure I'm, we're going to subdue him once he comes to this point watch out for that subdue glitch you don't want to kill him so we're going to pick up his gun to make sure his gun doesn't get spotted and we're going to drag his body just down the stairs just here we're just going to leave it here so now that's all set up so that's two kills now set up we're going to head back to the way we came all the way back down through the window where we came from and now we're going to need to pick up our sniper rifle. I, I didn't notice it in the uh, actual gameplay, but there's just a, there's a person down there. I don't know what he's, why he's standing there for, but anyway, he didn't discover any bodies, so that's all good. So we're going to head our way to our snake house now and pick up our sniper rifle, which is the Jaeger 7, which is the silent sniper rifle that I uh, unlocked from the Paris mission. Paris level 20 I believe I'm not completely sure what level it unlocks but uh, anyway we're gonna head through the safe house we're gonna use the safe key 
safe house key that is we're also going to pick up uh, a kitchen knife here as well because we're going to need this for one of the kills because one of the kills requires us to kill him in his bohemian outfit and with the kitchen uh, with a, a lethal melee weapon so i've chosen the kitchen knife so speaking of kitchens we're going to head through it i'm going to wait for the chef to move here to the right and then that's when i'm going to make our move I'm going to make sure no other chefs are looking in our direction before we make our move. Now just out the window. Sometimes a waiter will come out the door on the left, so you want to be watch out for that. But we're going to head to the door opposite over here, where this camera is. We're going to lockpick it, instead of going through the window, because it's a little bit quicker. We've got to wait for that other guard to come over, because he's going to do a bit of patrolling around here. So while we wait for him, we're going to grab the lab card over here, the bio lab key card. And also while we're waiting, we're going to take out this camera just behind this corner. Because, uh, why not? We've got to wait for the security guard anyway, so I thought, why not? So he's still over there at this point. This chef's going to go and take his break around the corner. He does cause some problems because he moves around quite a lot. Which you'll, you'll see in a little while. So the security guard's going to take his route now. He's going to come through this corridor. So I'm just going to hide just in here. Now I've done this three times just to make sure this is all uh, completely 100% and it works every time. And... Um, I don't know, for some reason he has faces one way sometimes and he f sometimes he faces the other way. I'm not completely sure why, but it's just the way it is. So at this point when I was using my instinct I thought okay he's going to look that way so I'm going to head through the window and uh, shoot him in the back with the sniper rifle while I'm here. But uh, he decided to turn around so we had the back through the window. So he just wanted to be a little bit more patient there, maybe I wasn't too patient enough. But anyway, we pulled out a sniper rifle, we'll just pop him in the back or back of the head or whatever you want. Pick up his weapon. Don't forget that because that, you know, people will spot that if anyone comes through this area. We're going to drag his body and dump him in the crate here because why not? I don't want to leave his body hanging around, so. So we're done with this area, so we're going to make our way outside. Now you'll see the chef is just outside. and. It, but he's moving around a lot when he's talking. Look, I nearly got spotted there, so you want to time your moments and up. easily sneak past him. Now this next part here, as you know, is the golf coach. He's having a conversation with Francesco on his phone. You're gonna, what we're gonna do is be patient and wait for that conversation to finish, and for him to move out of the way and go to get his drink. And that's when we're gonna make our move because we don't want to get spotted. Sometimes these, point, these parts, when you have to wait around, it can be a little bit frustrating, but uh, if you want to be stealthy, you want to be make it completely 100% sure that you're not going to get spotted, this is the best way to do it. So he's finished with this conversation now uh, with Francesca and arranged a meeting with her. So he's going to go and piss off now and have a bit of a drink. So this guard's going to be a little bit of a troll. I thought he was going to move. Then I thought, okay, I'll make my move now. So then he decides to lean back against the wall and pull out his phone. So he's being a bit of a troll. But now we made our move. We're going to throw a coin just there to distract this guard. As soon as he moves towards it, we're going to get past him. And I'm pulling out my lead pipe because there's a security guard just down the right bank embankment down here. And uh, you want to get to him just fast enough. If you time it right, he will always be in this position. To quickly throw out his head. Because if he's, if he's coming towards you, he's going to spot you every time. So 
you need to be quick when you do that. So we're going to use our Biolab keycard to get him in here and just drag his body in here so he doesn't get spotted. So that's it. So now we're going to sneak through the lab area and head our way to the runes. So we're going to take out our second target. We're going to use a glitch here, which you do. What you got to do is aim as you are pushing circle on that ledge and it will just drop down. I don't know why that glitch exists, but it does. And that's what speedrunners do. And I thought just to show you that there, just in case you were wondering. We're going to shoot this camera just behind this corner. And at this point, you're, uh, you should be completely free. Always taking this nice and slow to try and uh, make sure everything's perfectly fine. Sometimes there is a patrolling guard around here. I don't know why he's not around here at this time. Sometimes you just hang around on these bottom of these stairs. But a simple distraction, you should be able to get by him, no problem. So, from this point we're going to pull out a knife because this is the guard we're going to have to kill with the lethal melee. So we're going to use a knife. So a quick tip, you want to throw it at his head. Because if you go up to him and do the silent attack that way, you will get compromised and then you'll get spotted. And you'll lose your points. So to avoid that, just throw the knife at his head and you'll be completely fine. So here he is, you just want to throw it at his head right now. Just leave his body there. And that's just where we're going to use our sniper. You want to line up this shot. So this security guard over there. There's one. And the final target, just there where you've left him. Lovely. And that's all the targets completed. So all we need to do is head to the exit. And we're done. I'm going to take the uh, speedboat exit just down the, below the uh, the ruins here. You shouldn't have any bodyguards or anything or any security guards to worry about. So you should be playing sailor from here. But take it slowly just to, just in case. Like I said, there's sometimes there's a security guard that hangs around here. So you'll be worried of that. But apart from that, uh, that's going to do it for this video. So we're just going to head down here to this boat, and we're done. So, Hitman uh, developers have announced uh, episode 3. That's when that's going to come out on the uh, Tuesday. I will be live streaming that soon, that's available. I will be doing a live stream tomorrow of the elusive target, which will be 2pm um, European time, 1pm UK time. I'm not completely sure what that is in America. But uh, that's when I'll be doing that. So thanks very much for watching. And be sure to hit that like button and subscribe here if you're new to join the ever grown us Freeze Army of Assassins. And I will see you in... Well, I'll see you tomorrow in the live stream. Cheers.